Yeah. Huh? We got cool little things. We're getting fancy. We got stickers. Yes, stickers. That Not for sale cool. yet because these are just a test run and we put them on cans. <laughs> Welcome to Whiskey Wednesday. This is Ryan, your cook. This is Evan, the antagonist. Not an antagonist. You really are. <laughs> right. A, a little bit of background. We, st we, we became neighbors, and about three months later, we just every so often started having some whiskey in your garage. Yeah, you, you invited me to um, the mechanic shop for Whiskey Wednesday, and then we were like, you know... I was getting home late from work. I'm like, I still want whiskey, so we just meet over in the garage. Mm -hmm. So fast forward a couple of months, we've been doing it pretty routinely, and we started having people say, hey, that looks like fun. Can I come in and join? Sure yes. enough, we had pretty much a whole garage full of people. Yeah, we had poker nights. We had everything else. It was, it was getting crazy. And instead of turning people away, we thought, you know what we'll do? Let's do a YouTube channel, and anybody who wants to be a part of it, welcome. Somehow we convinced our wife that was a, our wives that was a better idea. That was than, a better idea than us just having people over and drinking. So now we're just pulling down the property value as quickly as possible. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> what do we have this evening? Um, <laughs> poor. So tonight we're going to be drinking Jameson Black. Jameson Black is an Irish whiskey. Um, it's made in Cork, Ireland. It's one. It's one of the basic Jameson Blanc brands. So, all right, we're going to jump right into Geek Speak. Irish whiskeys. Irish whiskeys have a very unique flavor profile. They have this underlying sweetness that has... Did you get the pours right this time? <laughs> yes. It has a very unique sweetness because... Uh, it's because of the unmalted barley. Thank you. <laughs> it has kind of a shortbread... Shortbread, because I've messed that up a couple of times. It has a shortbread flavor to it on the, on the, on the back end. Uh, the flavor comes from unmalted barley that's in the mash bill, and Irish started using unmalted barley when another country was taxing malted barley. Oh. So Irish and true Irish fashion said, screw you, and we're going to do something else. They okay. used unmalted, and that's where it came from. Very cool. All right, so we, we've shared Jameson between us before. Yeah. It, it is a good good whiskey. We both enjoy it. Jameson Black is pretty much my everyday drinker. If I'm just going to have a glass at the end of the day, sitting there working on Facebook or writing some paper or something, I'm going to drink some Jameson Black. That is very easy going in. There's, there's, I mean, there's, yeah, okay, okay, I'm having whiskey, but it's not so, so bold no. as other, other things. It's nice and drinkable. Um, it still has a whiskey flavor to it. Mm -hmm. What's um, so what's cool about the Jameson Black is the reason that it's black is it's aged sort of a second time in charred barrels. I was going to ask, yeah. what's the difference between They're, like a green label and the black label? I believe, and I'll have to research this, and we can say whether I'm right or not in the comments below. I think they're Jim Beam barrels. Really? Jim Beam bourbon barrels. I think they are. Okay. And that's what All they right. do the second aging in. Uh, I think I'm almost like 80 percent sure of that. that that's good enough and we'll clarify that here shortly so let me I totally lost my train of thought you ever have that happen so with with whiskeys we're gonna do a little fun thing today where you can change the flavor profile of certain whiskeys. That's exactly what I was about to ask you. I was going to be like, what's the difference in, in barrels and what happens with the barrels? You saw the blue thing sitting over on the side. You got all excited because we've done this a couple times and he loves it whenever we do it. So what we're going to do is whiskeys that have spent a lot of time in barrels and depending on climates and blah, 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 geek, geek, geek. So the whiskey will pick up oils. And what you can do with a couple drops of distilled water, and this is just a dropper I'll leave in the fridge. We can link in Amazon below. It's like four bucks. Uh, add a couple drops of distilled water to it, and the oils that it picks up from the wood that settle on the, the very top of the whiskey, what the water does is it breaks that up. So you get a little bit of the oils with every drink. So it makes a nice flow with it. Oh, all right. So it's not going to water it down. Nope. It's like three or four drops of water. It's not enough to water it down. Okay. So I've had that in the past where somebody's like, I'll never put water in there. And it, 
It's not. It doesn't water it down. It actually enhances the flavor profile. Everybody was making fun of me last week because I go to whiskey bars. I try different whiskeys, things like that. Here's what I'll tell you: If you go to a whiskey bar and you order a whiskey neat they're going to put a water dropper next to you. That's just kind of a given. That's how you know that you're at a good whiskey bar. If you ask them for a water dropper, they just put one down, you're at a happy place. If they look at you like you're crazy, you can still be happy. The whiskey bar knows if they have a good client. If you take your own notebook so you can keep your own notes on the whiskey profiles. I have an app now. It's called Distiller. We'll link to that. And thank you, Distiller. We love you. Talk about how it tastes with the water in it. It's Okay, so this is radically different. You still have like a nice, easy going in your into your mouth taste, but then by the time you get to the swallow, there's smoke. Yeah. It's like... Yeah, it opens, it opens the smoke flavor up a lot. So one of the things I like about Jameson Black is if you have people, you have friends of yours that are really into the Irish whiskey and mm -hmm. things like that, and you want to kind of gently nudge them to the scotches, Jameson Black's great because it has a nice smoky underflavor. And I do love scotches. You do love some scotches. Macallan 12, you can send it to us. It's fine. Whiskeyandbarbecue.com. That's the website. Let's get on with the cook. Look at these. We even uh, have our address there on that. So, yeah. Got ourselves a couple of cans. One of them's going to have the cooking apparatus. Yep. The other one's going to have the meat. Finally yep. got those done. Awesome. This weekend, you are cooking fish. Okay. On any specific kind of fish, or just it's, it says fish. Okay, that's it. Fish. It says fish. Fish. Nice. It's it's a protein. That's all we get. Okay. Protein. Nice. Yeah. The barrels. I ish. I don't Many know what I don't know what's in these things. Just so y'all know, gas grill is what. So I'm doing fish on a gas grill. Yes. Um. All right. So you and your clan, that y'all like the cedar plank salmon a lot. You you make salmon jerky occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> More so, often than not, actually. <laughs> uh, we'll do a cedar plank salmon. I'll show you a cool way of doing it, and I'll show you what to look for whenever you cook. That way you know you don't overcook it. I can't tell you how much I'm going to appreciate that, because most of the time I get a charcoal board and fish jerky. So. <laughs> right. uh, the Jameson you can find pretty much anywhere. Well, I mean, it's Jameson. You, you've heard of them, so you can pretty much get them anywhere. And the price range is going to be in that, uh, what, $35 to $45? Yeah, 30, $35 to $45. So normally what you can do is if you know some place that you have your regular old everyday Jamesons, the Jameson Black is only about 10 bucks more, and it's it's a pretty unique flavor that's with it. It's not like the Castmates or anything. It's just a nice... It's a nice smoky Irish whiskey. I like it a lot. I I, I'll why. drink that every day. I would uh, encourage you to join us also on the socials. So if you have like a whiskey that you like and you want us to try, rather than sending it, which is always welcome if you send us a whiskey. That's okay. Thanks, Michaela. <laughs> but Distiller has the app, and you can reach out to us through there. We're also on all the socials at Whiskey and Barbecue. Insta is Whiskey underscore Barbecue. We're going to link all this stuff at the bottom. Don't worry about taking notes. But we would love to have you be a part of, of those worlds. I did want to say our Facebook friends really really taken off. Of yeah, we, Facebook's doing well. Yeah. I, I like how that's going. And it helps when you've got a guy who does barbecues. <laughs> <laughs> I make for cool photos. Um, next week, um, we're going to be doing something you enjoyed a lot last time we did it. We're doing the coffee bourbon again. Oh, and yes. by enjoy, you mean sitting in my bed at <laughs> 3 in the morning not being able to go to sleep. So what we're probably going to do with that one, um, so... I, I have a block of time that we're going to do a whole bunch of material, okay. and there's a lot of stuff that's going to be released, and yes. we're thinking about one morning drinking in the morning on my back porch. We're not saying that we're doing that for legal purposes. Right. But I think legal's going to be there. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. <laughs> it's a good drink. I am not going to lie. <laughs> but the best whiskey, well, that one's your favorite. The best barbecue is how you like it. So make sure to share on both. Cheers. If we use this shot, we have to clean up that corner. You probably won't. <laughs> you like the sound effects that I used while you were drinking your water? That was special. That's fine. Thank you. Oh, look, I did a shadow again because, you know, me and shadows are great. Every video we've had, I had like a shadow in the middle of the head. Like the Peter Pan of this joint.
because the shadow was lost. You don't watch enough Disney films. I Come do, to my I house. do watch Disney films. <laughs> I watch them here, but three things make up my life: dishes, diapers, Disney, and life of a trophy husband. Life of a trophy husband.